Saturday. I hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start. Thanks so much for stopping in today, guys. Quick question, this early Saturday, well, okay, it's like 11 o'clock, but why is it so cold here in Atlanta? I actually had to get up this morning, turn on the fireplace and go get back in the bed. Let me know if you have slid back into winter in your neck of the woods. Kind of slept in this morning. Eric and I stayed up watching just about every episode of this series on Amazon Prime. I believe it's called Modern Love. <laughs> it's like a bunch of little uh, love story shorts. Um, and I wanna say they're all relatively true, kind of based on uh, true um, little accounts of love stories in the New York area. So we were thoroughly enjoying that last night. So we actually slept in. So like I said, it's around 11 o'clock. As you guys saw, I just got up, opened up everything. I haven't even had my coffee yet. So as you guys can see, I'm naturally bubbly. <laughs> Um, but so today on the agenda is, among other things, I'm gonna get my coffee. I have a few dishes over there that I need to put up, but guys, we are also going to Lowe's. This is going to be my first time leaving the house and actually getting out and going in, hmm, in about two weeks. I am thinking about painting my bedroom furniture. All right, so I know it sounds ludicrous, I know, I know, I know, bear with me. Um, Eric is totally against it, but he, so he thinks I should just get some new bedroom furniture. I don't wanna do that. I have actually looked and looked and looked. I can't find anything that I feel uh, on the market right now that is as good as the furniture in our bedroom. We have had that furniture, I know, a good, 10 years. Now we have replaced the mattress, of course, but the furniture itself has been the same furniture, like I said, for like roughly 10 years. We purchased that furniture from Macy's Furniture Department and I just absolutely love it. It is so well made. It is real good wood, solid wood. And I just think a lot of the furniture pieces now they're just like filler uh, filler wood. They're, they're not as good. So I am going to attempt to paint it, all right? I have a real good friend. She actually did the same thing in her bedroom, which is <laughs> why I'm even brave enough to kind of even venture out and try this project right now. But she sent me over some pictures and I absolutely love it. She um, used the chalk paint. So I'm just gonna see if I like it. And if it doesn't turn out good, you know, I'll just get some new furniture or I don't know. So over here, I have set up the ingredients for some banana nut muffins. I have been craving banana nut muffins for days now. So last night I forced myself um, after cleaning the kitchen to go ahead, set my ingredients out and I'm going to make those this morning and um, I'll hopefully have uh, you know one with my coffee if they turn out right. I'm not the best baker, uh, so we are going to see. I believe this is like a cup and a half of all-purpose flour right here. I have a combination of uh, chopped walnuts and some pecans. I'm gonna toast those up. Um, I have my egg here. I have uh, just about three fourths cup of just regular granulated sugar. It's a little bit shy of a three fourths of a cup. And that is because I want to put um, a little bit less than a half a cup of brown sugar in there. I just love that molasses flavor in my uh, banana bread. And here are my salt, baking powder, and uh, baking soda in that. So uh, I'm gonna get spin you guys around these dishes over here put away first um, I've said this many times before I have to cook in a clean kitchen now these are clean dishes but I don't want to see any of this before um, I start baking so yeah I'm gonna put these away then make my coffee and then we'll get started on the banana nut muffins
going to use a recipe that I actually found online. The, gosh, what's the name? Allrecipes.com. I love going to that particular website to get my recipes because they are so super simple and easy. They're not a whole lot of ingredients listed. So that's the recipe that I am going to use today. So I'm going to bring all of my ingredients from over here, over here, and um, I'm going to, I'm trying to decide if I want to use a stand mixer or the handheld mixer. If I get the stand mixer, it's faster, but it's more parts to clean, so. Probably gonna use a stand mixer anyway, so. Let me grab my stand mixer. I'll be right back. Hold the wine, please. large bananas and as you can see my bananas are extremely extremely ripe. I have three here in this bag and then there are two more here in this bag and I'm trying to decide if I want to use five even though the recipe called for three because I'm just gonna have to throw these out today if I don't use them so we will see how this goes but I'm gonna go ahead and start with these three so, I'll just use one of these. Because you know with baking, you have to be precise. So. So here are the muffins before they go into the oven and I use just about all of the batter. Now, the recipe that I used is a recipe for banana bread. As you can see, these are actually muffins and the recipe states that you want to leave the banana bread if you're gonna use a loaf pan in the oven at 325 for one hour and 15 minutes. However, because these are muffins, they'll probably cook a little bit faster, so I'll just have to keep my eye on them. But again, I have set the oven at a temperature of 325. So I'm gonna start them out first at um, about 20 minutes in the oven, and then I'll just kinda keep checking back. So this is what they look like, and they smell yummy already. That is a really good muffin. Mm. And I think it pairs perfectly with my coffee this morning. Oh yeah, that's good. I feel like I'm at Starbucks right now. We 
are out, headed to Lowe's. It feels really good to be outside. Did I mention this morning that it was like freezing cold? It has warmed up quite a bit. Um, 55 still, degrees. Uh, a balmy 55. What's today's date? May what? May something. Uh, May 9th. In, in Atlanta, on May 9th, it's supposed to be like 85, 90, mm -hmm. something like that. But we are not getting the full brunt of the. Because What's going on over there? Of the polar vortex. I think they're Get actually. Your butt. Oh. I think they're actually. Uh, yeah, I think they're actually getting snow up north. So. What? I'm not going to complain too much. Have y'all heard? Oh, you said have y'all. All right. We're good. We're there you here. go. Have y'all heard about what's going on with Georgia as it relates to driver's licenses for the youth? Eric, take it away. Well, Georgia and Florida continue to be the crazy states <laughs> here lately with everything that's going on. So now in Georgia to get your license, if you have a learner's permit, you don't have to go take a test or anything like that. You just go online and apply and you can now get your Formal, it's a class D license, so it's not a full drive site, but you can drive by yourself as a team if you've had your learner's permit for a year and a day. So we got to be safe on these streets. We got to look out for these little ones who are now driving. And in Florida news, Florida's <laughs> opening Disney Springs on, look at this baby. on May 20th. So as you guys know, we've canceled a couple of Disney trips. So we are... You know, I think we're like, everybody else is like, we're going to take vacation this year. We don't know how or when or where. We're just going to have to figure it out and get in where we fit in mm -hmm. and just <laughs> see what's out there. It's not like you can you can super plan ahead, which we're very used to. We talked about when we do vacations, we have family meetings and we do agendas and plan way ahead of time and get fast passes. Now it's just like wherever we can fit in and whatever's open, we're just going to try to figure something out this summer. All right, guys, we have made it to Lowe's. Yes, I have my mask. Eric's wearing his. It's windy, so I'm gonna stop because I know you guys can't hear me. I will see you on the inside. I need to get another fern. What's up, YouTube fam? You know what time it is. Pink package shout out time on a beautiful, sunny, 82 degree day here in Atlanta. The weather is gorgeous. I am coming to you today with a fresh haircut from my wife. I've been looking kind of rough in these previous videos and I kind of noticed it. So I asked my wife to finally cut my hair. I'm one of the lucky guys in that I stopped going to the barber probably about five or six years ago. My wife cuts my hair. She does a great job. So I am thankful and fortunate. Um, let me know in the comments if you have ventured out to get your hair and or nails done. My personal opinion is that we can probably hold off on that for a little while longer. That being said, I know that's easy for me to say. I'm not in that industry, I'm not in that business. So let us know in the comments what you're doing. Are you still doing self-care and doing it yourself? What's your husband doing? Or have you started to venture out for um, some pampering? Let's get on to these shout outs. First one. Fera W, Miramar, Florida. Always, always, always had a love for Florida. Florida gives us a lot of love. Uh, Patricia G, Shreveport, Louisiana. I think this is the first one from Louisiana. Um, I have spent, I've not been to Shreveport. I've spent a lot of times, a lot of time in New Orleans. Um, when I was in college, I actually interned at a company that was based in Louisiana a couple of summers and spent one of the guys I worked with was from New Orleans. So I spent a lot of time in uh, New Orleans back in the day. So the next one is Sonia H from uh, Powder Springs, Georgia, home team. Powder Springs is on the west side of Atlanta. Beautiful suburb. Irma E, Columbus, Ohio. Spent a lot of time in Ohio. A am I getting repetitive? I feel like I always, I spent a lot of time here. I spent a lot of time there. Like, is that annoying? I'm, I'm starting to annoy myself, but here's the thing. I do travel for work. Um, quite a bit and just you know random vacations and trips so I try to have a when I read through these I try to have like a personal or talk about my personal connection with a place so that's why I do it um Tara M Hebron Maryland I've not been there so there's one I haven't been to a place I haven't been to and Wendy M from Inglewood New Jersey spent a lot of time in New Jersey though I don't think I've been to Inglewood so yeah those are our pink package shout outs for today 
I'm pretty sure I'll be turning around and doing one tomorrow. The orders keep flowing in. We are very appreciative and thankful. I hope you guys are doing well uh, with, with whatever is going on in your state in these days and times. And I will see you on the next Pink Package shout out. Wow. Look at all this love you guys give the Unfrumpy Mommy store. It is really appreciate it. Once again, it is Pink Package shout out time. day here in Atlanta the uh, weather's gorgeous although it's cool it's 52 degrees which I don't know that's the kind of year it's been it should not be 52 degrees in May I mean it is morning it's probably gonna warm up and get into the low 70s but nevertheless here we are I'm gonna go through these really quickly today because there's so many of them like I said you guys are showing us a lot of love um, first one is to Daphne a Stonecrest Georgia shout out to Daphne we actually used to live not too far from Stonecrest, Georgia. Our first house was uh, near that area. Sharice B, Lake Charles, Louisiana. Shout out to her. Lindrea B, Laurel, Maryland. Some of these packages are thick. Aretha H, Crestview, Florida. Lakeisha A, McKinney, Texas. A lot of new cities. Marvetta D, Roseland, Louisiana. Tanya S, Tampa, Florida. Shout out to Tampa. Shanika D, Plano, Illinois. I did not know there was a Plano, Illinois. I've been to Plano, Texas. I didn't know there was a Plano, Illinois. I, I learned a lot of geography. I learned a lot of geography by uh, reading these packages. Tamisha H, East Hartford, Connecticut. Charlene R, Chicago, Illinois. Josephine D, Fairfax, Virginia. Muriel M. Chat Town, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Annie L, Orlando, Florida. Now, you know, I don't, I don't even have to tell you guys about how we feel about Orlando. Um, I don't know. I think Disney's gonna, and Universal are gonna open up back this year. I, I don't know when. We've been, you know, reading all the blogs and vlogs and all that stuff. It's uh, the theme parks and the cruise ships and the airlines are gonna really have to think about, you know, how they reopen. So that's gonna be interesting to see. Um, Shanika D, another Plano, Illinois. Is this the same? One that I just read, same name. Lola H, Beaumont, California. Again, I've heard of Beaumont, Texas, but not Beaumont, California. So learning some geography. Krista I, Philly. Ah, Ureth B. So there is a story behind this package. So I actually know Ureth. Uh, Ureth is a personal friend from college. I actually met Ureth before I met my wife, but there's a connection. And actually, my wife is a real, Uretha is one of my wife's best friends. So somewhere on our channel, there's a, uh, my wife uh, planned a party for Uretha. There's a whole video about it. I don't recall the name of it. Maybe we'll link it below. But I actually knew Uretha before I knew my wife. Uretha dated one of my roommates in college. Um, and so when I met my wife, I didn't know she was roommates with Uretha. So I met my wife, um, the Unfrumpy Mommy, at a nightclub in Tallahassee, Florida, where we went to school. So I always, I always chuckle when people say, well, you can't really find, you know, your, your spouse in a nightclub. Well, we met at a club, <laughs> a straight up club. My wife actually approached me. So I'll let her tell that story. She came up to your boy and approached me in the club, but that's, that's a whole other story. We won't get into that. So when I first started dating um, the Unfrumpy Mommy, I didn't know her and Uretha were roommates until she had me come over there and and this is how long ago this was hook up a vcr they had bought a vcr and i came to hook it up and i was like oh your roommates with your read so you know we had just started dating so you know i'm really trying to impress her and, and install this vcr and get it right well it was hot we we're in tallahassee florida for whatever reason they were probably broke college students they weren't running the ac and the entertainment center where they had me installing the vcr was just it was a hot mess it was wires everywhere there were books and papers in it and I'm trying to get behind it and install this VCR and look all cool and manly. And I'm just sweating because it's hot in the apartment. And I'm trying to move all these wires out of the way. And back then, you know, the TVs were, it wasn't these little slim TVs we have now. It was the big, you know, if you had a TV, it was bulky. So 
I just remember that and finding out that my wife was roommates with Urethra. And I knew because Urethra was so cool um, that I knew my wife had to be, you know, good people because Urethra was so good. So I figured if, if she's Urethra's roommate, then she must be a quality person. So shout out to uh, Urethra. I have a lot of love and a special place in my heart for her. Uh, Beverly C. from Randallstown, Maryland. Joy W.M. Um, from St. Louis. Missouri. A lot of these names, so I say WM, she has a hyphenated last name. Let me know in the comments, ladies, do you use a, a, a hyphenated last name? Um, I'm all for it. I have no issues with it. I'm just, I just find it interesting how, you know, some women will just take, when they get married, just take the husband's name. Someone will, some women will hyphenate it. Um, so let me know in the comments whether you have hyphenated it or maybe you kept your last name or you um, just took your husband's last name. And the last one is Deborah, and I think this is another hyphenated one. Deborah S.J. from Riverside, California. So shout out to all you guys. And again, thank you for showing us so much love in the store. Atlanta. So today is Friday. And I believe there is a polar vortex headed to the side of the country. Now, fortunately, in the south, we're not going to get any, any of the snow or anything that I think is expected up north. But it has turned the weather today pretty miserable. And I think tomorrow, which is Saturday, it's only going to get into the 60s and this time of year we should we could easily hit 90s um, in Atlanta so you know another <laughs> fun day here I think uh you know the t the tendency when you get this weird weather with everything else that's been going on you know I think there's a tendency to say you know 2020 has been trash stay hopeful uh and stay blessed we are definitely blessed to have you guys placing these orders for example we've got Jody W from Chautauqua New York Deborah W, New York, New York. Shout out to New York. Pamela S, Kinston, North Car Carolina. Wanda B, Springdale, Maryland. Cynthia J, Springfield, Massachusetts. LaShawn Smith, Upper Marlboro, Maryland. Thank you so much, LaShawn. Amanda Mitchell, Waynesville, Missouri. Carol P, Tampa, Florida. And finally, last but not least, K-A-J. So K and K and the uh, last two initials is AJ from Boynton Beach, Florida. So thanks once again to all you guys for continuing to support the Unfriendly Mommy Store. Fam, it is a bright, sunny, although a little cool day here in Atlanta. It is time for a pink package shout out. So let's get started. First pink package and this, look at this. Look at the thickness. Remember guys, we sell t-shirts. This is all t-shirts. So a big shout out to Carol J from Warner Robins, Georgia. I actually think um, this order came in, you'll see when this order came in on, on I think a previous video. I think my wife, it was the April favorites. And as she's doing that video, the order comes in and she shows it on the screen or in the video, you can't really see it, but it's like eight shirts. So, and that's one of the largest, I mean, we've had orders with, you know, eight shirts and a bunch of shirts before, but this is one of the largest orders. We've got, you know, single orders that we've gotten. So. Big thank you to uh, Carol J from Warner Robins, Georgia, which is not far from Atlanta. I actually do south of Atlanta, about two hours south. Um, we actually have spent a little bit of time in Warner Robins. There is a um, there's a military base down there, and then there's an aircraft museum that's run by the government, by the military. It's really neat if you're into that sort of thing. I think it's the second largest or third largest military aircraft base in the United States. Um, so if you're into that sort of thing, Chase and I like to go there uh, occasionally. It's actually free. Um, like I said, it's about two, two hours south of Atlanta, about south of Macon. So really, really fun time. Like going down there occasionally and, and checking that out. Kristen R, Capitol Heights, Maryland. Latasha S, Indianapolis, Indiana. Kanisha B, Lancaster, Texas. Patsy K, Stone Mountain, Georgia. So Huge shout out to Stone Mountain. So we've lived, you know, we lived in Atlanta. We lived, after college, we lived in Greenville, South Carolina for a few years and, and worked, uh, had jobs and then got our master's degrees and then we moved back to Atlanta. Um, our first home when we moved back to Atlanta was in Stone Mountain. Um, really nice, beautiful home. Um, love Stone Mountain, Georgia. It's a great area um, just east of the city. Uh, really nice area. So huge shout out to Stone Mountain. Still got a lot of friends and family that they live out there so we got we go out there uh, quite a bit to visit and of course we, we're big fans of stone mountain park you can't see it um because the way i have the camera turned but in this car we have a stone mountain 
park pass on the windshield right here. Um, we get one of those every year that basically gives you entrance into the park for a full year. Um, so we go there a lot to to work out. It's a great place to work out and just kind of hang out. It's a big tourist attraction, but even for us locals, um, it's a great place to work out. You can either go up the mountain and that's a great workout, or you can go around it. They're all kind of nature trails. So a really fun place. We really like uh, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Um, Latasha M, Covington, Louisiana. LaShawn W, Bridgetown, New Jersey. That name, you know, and I apologize. It's, you know, I'm getting older, so I don't remember all the names, but a lot of these names and addresses sound very familiar. It feels like I've called them out before. So if you're a return shopper, we really appreciate it. And obviously if you're a new customer to the Unfrumpy Mommy store, welcome. Thank you for your, uh, for your patronage. Debbie J, Albany, New York. Again, that, that sounds very familiar. I feel like I've called that name in Albany, New York out before. Beverly P, Bradenton, Florida. Andrea A, Goose Creek, South Carolina. Now I know Andrea is a new customer because I would remember a name like Goose Creek, South Carolina. So I know she's new. So welcome Andrea, thank you for shopping with the Unprompted Mommy store. And then last but not least, Deborah G from St. Louis, Missouri. So once again, thank you for your support at the Unfrumpy Mommy store. Um, and yeah, we'll continue to, or my wife will continue to provide you guys with uh, great customer service. We get a lot of comments too. She gets a lot of positive feedback in particular about her packaging. Um, and I know when she was starting or conceptualizing the store and working through her business plan, that's one of the things she said she really wanted to put an emphasis on was, you know, when she orders stuff from like a Fashion File or a Gucci or a Louis Vuitton or, or wherever, she always said, you know, packaging should be part of the experience. You want to feel like you're special and that you're getting a gift, right? You're getting something that was that was well thought out and that where they appreciate your business. So she puts a lot of work into the packaging, a lot of thought into it. So she really appreciates it. I would say we get a lot of great comments about the store in general, but a lot of them are just about the packaging and the thought that was put into uh, you know, what she puts out. So she really appreciates that those comments are not um, unnoticed. And once again, thank you guys for supporting the Unfrumpy Mama Store.